Alright. So, I'm not sure I'm going to approach this topic today. But, I'm exhausted and I fucking... <laughs> I have, like, writer's block, I guess you would call it. Um, and I spent the past, like, 45 minutes staring at my screen and falling asleep and trying to think of something to vlog about. Uh, I normally try to get this done before my family calls uh, so that I have higher energy levels and shit, but I didn't do that, so... I did one of my two weekly calls with family at uh, the normal time, and it was like an hour and a half call, so now you're getting me after I'm fucking <laughs> extremely exhausted. But I thought I'd approach the topic of uh, the the riots. The, the, I, I've been calling it a tantrum since the beginning uh, at uh, January 6th at the Capitol. Um, now keep in mind, I was suspended from Twitter because I had the audacity to, uh, speak my mind. They claimed at the time that they were erasing a bunch of Trump supporters, Q's, QAnon followers. But since I oppose Trump and I'm also anti-Q and I, like, mocked the people at the Capitol frequently, that's bullshit. That's total trash. Um, but it does lend nicely to my theory, which is that Q and the Capitol and the Trump presidency, it was all one massive op. Um, now, people who, like, support Trump, they don't like hearing the possibility that, uh, that this could have been an op. They, they like to think that Trump is fighting the state and the deep state and uh, make their weird sycophantic little fucking posts about how, you know, awesome Trump is and, you know, uh, post all these cartoons with Trump with like a six pack and not obesity uh, and standing appropriately, not looking like a, a fucking heron. Um... <laughs> I could go on about that for a while, uh, like, but they don't like to think about the fact that maybe they got played. Um, but I can't think of a better way to play people than to get them to do your work for you effortlessly. Effortlessly. Now, what do I mean by that? I, I responded to a tweet today from a, a ridiculous infant of a man called uh, Jack Cocurella, Cocurella, I don't know, fucking, he's stupid, and he called the, the, the capital thing the crime of the century. I'm not exaggerating, he said it's the crime of the century, he didn't elaborate, he said, this was the crime of the century, and he posts a picture of the Capitol, and he says, Republicans who perpetuate the big lie must be held accountable. Considering giving me a, f uh, considering giving me a follow as I continue to call them out. The big lie. As, as though there's only one. Right? So that sort of pissed me off, you know? I didn't go into the obvious one because I didn't want people to uh, I didn't want people to automatically click away. Um, so I didn't go into the fact that Fauci lied multiple times, that the every U.S. government organization responsible for public health lied repeatedly uh, during the coronavirus thing, and either the whole thing was a lie designed to... Uh, get the people whipped up so that they could increase their power or whether or not the thing that he said in the beginning about not needing masks was a lie um, and then saying that you do need masks and now saying that you don't need them again 
Uh, right when public pressure starts to pop out about the potential funding, his his fucking <laughs> CDC gave to the, the the lab in Wuhan that appears to have been the BSL four origin of the coronavirus. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just a coincidence that the CDC is saying you can ease up off the masks now, even though they were ramping up to say that even if you were vaccinated, you would still need the mask. Funny how that works. But I didn't go with that one because I thought that would be too on the nose and the wound is still fresh and everybody's still caring about it. So I stuck to the stock and standard stuff that I normally kind of say. They sent the Lusitania into hostile waters, intentionally loaded with weapons and civilians, so when it sunk, they could get into a war. That was World War I. World War I was started uh, before the U.S. got involved, but the U.S. only really got involved because of the U Lusitania. And the Lusitania, they knew that it was going into hostile waters. They fucking knew it was going into hostile waters. They knew that because they put it there. And they put it there with civilians and weapons and explosives because they fucking could and because it would get them into a nice and lucrative war. That was World War I. They knew Pearl Harbor would happen and suppressed the info getting out so they would have their day of infamy. This is true. Look up Purple Enigma. Look up the fact that they decoded like Japanese communication saying, hey, we're going to come and fuck your shit up. And then look into the fact that the press was suppressed at every single turn. You know, almost like bombing a press office in the middle of, of Palestinian territory. You know, like maybe Israel did recently. Uh, anyway, uh, they did that to prevent the fact that they had discovered that this was going to happen from getting out. And the well-meaning people that decoded it, they weren't part of the big club, as George Carlin would put it, so they didn't get in. <laughs> and their message got quelled, and the Day of Infamy happened, and the U.S. got to uh, play war games with the country its businesses had been propping up for a significant period of time and to whom the leader of which many u.s business magnates looked up to like the u.s wasn't that separate from world war ii germany it really wasn't the idea that this racist fucking genocidal country is somehow exempt because it fought nazis i mean it didn't even kill most of them most of them were killed on the Eastern Front. Like, a decent chunk of people will tell you that the Russians won World War II for us. So it's like, yeah, the U.S. government was over there. Yeah, they did their part. But it was only so that they could get a bunch of money and save the failing economy that they fucked up after people like Harding revived it with laissez-faire economics. Funny how that works. It's also really fucking hilarious as a Harding to constantly hear that name referenced poorly when most people don't look into the Hardings. They just don't like us. I I wonder if I've had experience with that. But anyway, thought I would just bring that up. The Gulf of Tonkin incident where there were no ships, but they still got us into Nam, right? There were no babies taken out of any incubators. But they wanted war in Iraq, and they wanted that Kuwaiti skirmish, and they wanted to get all their militarism up. So they got the daughter of a royal to <laughs> say, hey, this happened, this terrible thing happened, with zero evidence. And then they later found out it was bullshit, but only after they got their war. The terror threat is not organic nor religious, nor do they hate us for our freedom. It was created by the CIA through Operation Cyclone. You can look that up, or you can read my article on agorisnexus.com about why we're never leaving Afghanistan. Uh, nothing about the official 9-11 story is true. 
I also tweeted, uh, posted this thing to Facebook. I'm not going to tweet it because I kind of don't want my account associated with my old one. Um, but I posted this to Facebook uh, because it's a it's a an old tweet from my account that everybody hated. Um, so I said, research iron rich spheres, P tech, faulty commission report, dancing Israelis, budget analyst office, able danger, faulty NIST report, missing Rumsfeld money, lucky Larry's insurance, WTC seven, nine eleven drills, Tim Osman. Surviving passports, destroyed records, or don't. If you look into this shit, you'll 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 find out. I'm not wrong. These are all lies. They're all lies to lie us into war. They're planned, and the U.S. government wants them to happen. It's clear. It's obvious to anybody paying attention. I said, so many lives lost to lies, but this person and a ton of other media sycophants would have you believe that Jan 6 was the worst thing to ever happen, claiming it's worse than 9-11, like that stupid shill Brooklyn dad did, or the crime of the century, because they're partisan hacks who relied on hyperbole, and it's okay when I do it for four years. And that's the fucking truth, right? These people have been relying on that particular fucking line for four years. The Trump administration could do what they've been doing, and it suddenly wasn't okay. But he basically wasn't doing anything new or original, you know? He wasn't doing anything against the program. Biden is sticking to fucking everything he did. But he's somehow special. Almost like the media wanted to serve their own purposes and agendas, and they wanted somebody who would get them enough clicks that they could continue to fund themselves. Almost. Um, but I wanted to bring this up because I thought that it'd be valuable to give some context. I have my, my trusty notepad here. Y'all have probably seen this in some debates. Um, but I use this to take notes. I use it to, and I, you know, I've got more than one, like I've, I've filled some shit up, but I, 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 I use this to take notes when I want to do something planned. And I did a video a while back that I called conspiracy hypothesis. Now I would just splice that in here, but honestly, I kind of want to do this in one take. It's one of the reasons that I'm speaking more slowly and deliberately, because I want to get this in one take and I want to get it right, because um, I don't want to edit this, and because the file that is outputted from hit film is much higher quality in terms of bitrate, and I don't want to wait to upload that and potentially miss my daily vlog. So... I'm just going to fucking read this because this this was my completely unfounded conspiracy hypothesis. So, my point 1 was install a fake anti-authoritarian, that being Trump. You know, he's fighting the deep state, he's draining the swamp, except he's doing neither and he's deepening the swamp and he's helping the deep state. Um <laughs> he puppeteers his followers with the Q PSYOP. Either he did that directly or somebody in intelligence did it. Um, because it's really easy to fucking do. Like, that's the thing. For if the, the Q thing was so easy to set up. It was so easy to set up. Because it's fucking 4chan. Anybody can access it. It's the simplest potential ruse. Like, it's, it's like setting up the ShareBlue network on Twitter. You know, it's fucking social media. Anybody can do that. Um, and if you have the power of an intelligence agency behind you, you can fucking do some 4chan posts and just make sure to post with the same uh, the, the, the same tag, right? Um, in state and oversee state expansion measures. That being things like the wall. That being you know all the all the executive action he took. All this stuff that 
made the swamp more swampy. Um, use the queue topic online to safely track and, man and map network of distrusting people, people who don't trust the state narrative, people who don't trust your narrative, people who don't trust a narrative. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, you track all of them because you're trying to control all of them. Um, that being including me, right? I don't trust them, and I won't trust them for a second, even through their Q PSYOP. So they mapped me too, and they wanted my Twitter gone, so now it's gone. Um, <laughs> right? And, you know, that's the other thing. It's not gone. I know they could turn it back on at any fucking moment. They don't want to, because I spoke too much truth. So, once you do that, we get to point five, which is that Q becomes the Pied Piper and leads the masses into many traps. Is wrong enough of the time media can mock Q cult? So basically, it turns into this, like, public perception thing where the media gets to call the Q people all this terrible cult of internet losers who, like, <laughs> believe QAnon and this is dangerous, and it's it's going to destroy news and society and civilization and every everybody panic, right? Um, so they get to create that specter, and whenever they get to create this specter, they get to have a wide variety of perspectives around this. Everybody gets to discuss it. It gets to get nice and cemented in people's minds. People get to not only take, but become ossified in their sides. And Q cult becomes reflexively defensive and uses the media coverage as fuel to claim they must be on to something. This has happened so many times with these people. I can't tell you how often uh, I got into an argument with one of them and they said, you know... We can't be wrong. With all these people against us, we can't be wrong. And I'm like, yeah, you can. You can be wrong because they could be funneling you into one of their pre-planned narratives and stories too. It's like everybody else has to be the sheep. Everybody else has to be asleep. The Q people, they were the awake ones all of a sudden because they believed in an anonymous poster on 4chan. Eh, yeah, no. Um, discourage anonymity ironically oppose masks and go to a lot of protests get databased by the feds this happens so many fucking times whether or not it be with the covid protests the virginia gun marches uh any sort of protest involving the proud boys we don't wear masks those are for antifa cowards <laughs> or the riots Which brings me to point seven. Uh, lead them all to invade the cap... Well, let me see. Create lockdown environment and call anyone opposed to your policies an anti-science conservative while building a surveillance super state and monopolizing corporations. This uh, pandemic gave corporations more power. It gave government more power. It gave politicians exotic levels of control which they have never had before and a fucking bleeding ass sheepy public to eat it up and enforce their policies to the crowd they created an army of Karens who snitch to the state who post on social media who make sure all these people do what the government wants <laughs> they're Karens that's what they are um, and this environment created the pretext for the sweeping changes which were to come. <laughs> um, now, there's an element I didn't include before, but I think it's valuable to mention again, 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 that Parler was a database for the feds. The feds got location information, they got driver's licenses attached to faces, attached to names, attached to addresses, they got all this shit because people were using an alternative social network when they were banned from their primary one. And they got all of this shit uh, in such a fucking handy and convenient and easy package that a hacker 
could get access to it as well and dump it all online for everyone to see because all they had to do was access the back end uh, admin accounts, create a bunch of accounts and scrape the site of all the stuff that was just on the surface and then they got enough information to pwn everyone. Everyone got pwned. Except, of course, the people smart enough to not give an unaccountable party their driver's license. Except the people who were smart enough to not post photos to a shitty WordPress install that isn't actually their creation to begin with and doesn't strip fucking metadata. You know, people like me who people don't like. So then you lead them all to invade the capital database emails and use as excuse to censor their whole network and anyone else the elites feel like at the time like me so that's fairly self-explanatory but they have all this information now gab parlor all these conservative social networks where people fled to but were highly centralized and highly suspect and subject to the whims of a central party and whatever fucking stupid ass rules they wanted to make. Uh, not actual free speech like the blockchain because that'd be scary and it's tech and these are boomers. Uh, but these terrible, terrible sites, right? Um, suddenly became databases and, and fucking bootlickers like The Intercept get to claim that they're doing journalism by going through these databases because they all isolated themselves uh, and on a public forum. Um, it's really fucking hilarious because like there are some forums that are talking about some really extreme stuff and they're smart enough to keep it private. People didn't do that here. <laughs> and at least on Twitter, when they decided that people were going to be exed, uh, this was after this was after um, they had already decided, hey, when we ask them, nobody can see their tweets. But these people went to these so-called free speech networks and posted all the same stuff and more because they thought they were free, because they were on conservative sites run by conservatives, and that makes everything okay. Except it doesn't. It created a fucking database and you wandered right into it. Which leads me to 10. Congrats! The Trump presidency and his support has now been uh, weaponized and the same... I can't read my own fucking handwriting, that's so sad. And the same corporations you helped give Monopoly to can now pick and choose who has a voice and who can buy and sell and ultimately who lives or dies fascism the the January 6th riot people are claiming that it was terrible because it was US attacking US yeah it was US attacking US it always has been it's been the US government security apparatus corporate apparatus intelligence apparatus uh Hell, let's go indoctrination apparatus, medical apparatus. Just name one thing and attach industrial complex to it. And, and you can name the problems with America. The U.S. government has been attacking people for a long time. The problem is that people thought they were fighting back on the 6th. But they weren't. They were literally self-harming. They were helping the system justify itself and they were getting thrown in jail for it. I think like 400 people are already in jail because of it. Like fucking congratulations. You thought you were going to get away with that? You thought you were going to put your face on social media and you wouldn't get arrested for carrying a podium out? You wouldn't get arrested for putting your feet up on a desk? You wouldn't get arrested for stealing computers or you're not very smart, is ya? So, the whole idea, and, 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 by the way, might as well bring it up. 
when people say that politicians are stupid, it's usually projection. Because politicians and, and the government and etc., they want you to believe they're stupid so that you never think they're capable of this sort of thing so that they can keep getting away with it. You help them by claiming they're stupid. You help them fuck you up by claiming they're stupid and you're stupid enough to keep doing it. So don't do that. Um, but just uh, to, to get back on track here, uh, they helped the government. They helped those people because they gave them a nice big platter of here's all of us. Here's all of our freedoms, our liberties. This is it, right? And <laughs> they did it in support of their politician. It wasn't an insurrection. That's a lie that the media is telling you. That's a lie that the politicians want you to believe. That's a lie. It wasn't an insurrection. You know what an insurrection is? It's a fight against the government by people who want it gone. This was not an insurrection. This was a tantrum. It wasn't even a riot. They didn't break fucking most of the stuff. They just came in, threw some stuff around, stomped their feet around, and went back home when daddy told them to. It was a tantrum. It wasn't a riot. It wasn't an insurrection. So, the whole notion that it was the big lie that the election was rigged, no. There have been so many bigger lies. And you, Jack, probably helped spread those lies. You. You probably helped the machine. You certainly did today. You're a good little boy. You helped the friendly fascists control more people. Good for you. I, 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 get, I get real irritated. Because the truth is close to the surface. At least what matters. What matters is that these people are liars and they hate you. They want your children to suffer under their yoke so they beat you down so that you can't do anything when your children need you. That's the fucking blunt truth there. So they create a system whereby they can constantly get away with abusing everyone. And they can rely on people like Jack to claim to be well-meaning while helping the fascists. They can rely on Republicans and Democrats who have created this system and who have perpetuated it. And they can rely on the party arcs and alternative parties to not do jack shit about it because even if they could get the numbers, the system doesn't need to change just because they've got people in it. That ain't how this works. Oh, our oh, evil empire, it got too many votes against it, I guess we'll give up. That's not how it works. Sorry, Timmy. So, the whole idea that this was the crime of the century? No. The state is the crime of millennia, and they love it when you help them get away with their crimes by posting shit like this, by being like this. By being like you are. By being like the people who helped you post that. By being like defiant Brooklyn dad and getting paid by a pack to tweet your bullshit. Yeah, resist. Resist, but resist exactly nothing when the liberals are in power. When the shit libs get here, just tuck tail and run. That's what resistance looks like. That's what the defiant are. Because it's a brand. It's nothing more. Y'all aren't anything. And that's the reason you're still on about Trump when Biden is worse. Because you have nothing without that. You have nothing without that boogeyman. And as long as you can keep his name fresh in people's minds, you can keep fresh cash in your pocket. So yeah, I'm a little bit irritated. I'm a little irritated. Uh, 
and I'm going to post this and hope that it posts by the time the day is over, because then I, I will maintain my streak. Anyway, <laughs> this was brought to you by OPSEC Drip, uh, 240 glorious pixels of uh, libertarian shamog born news. You can listen to this in bite sized increments between breaks, anything like that. Link is right here. My link is right here. Like, share, subscribe, etc. Smash the state.